Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to show you how to uh, functionally implement Chipsynth SFC, uh, the VSD, into Ableton Live 10. Uh, I'm doing that because uh, the VSD is, is pretty new and I haven't found any way, uh, any information on the internet how to do that with Ableton. So uh, I'd like to share with you the way I found. It might not be the proper way to do it, but it's a functional way. So what you want to do first is you want to load a MIDI track so you can put the the VST in it. And then the window should pop up. And uh, if you're like me and you want to have multiple tracks feeding into one VST, uh, you should put the polytimbral in it preset. And here I put polytimbral in a channel so you can play more than one note uh, simultaneously. And uh, let's remove that. Okay, so let's say I want to, um, I don't know, I want to grab some Top Gear sound. So I would go to the player and find the Top Gear SFC, uh, SPC, sorry. The Top Gear SPC should be around here. Da -da, Top Gear 2. Okay. Let's say I want to have uh, these. Let's say I want to have the bass, so I grab it. So I want to have the pads. And the synth. So now, I grab the uh, all three um, samples. So let's say this one is, it has a lot of echo, so just put the in it. And uh, so here I have the bass, here I have the synth, the, the pad, and here I have the... I have the, the synth. So now what you want to do is uh, put those samples in uh, respective channels. So we have three samples, so we just need three uh, channel. There's a thing here that uh, it's auto assigned to. I'm not sure how it works properly. I still have to uh, study uh, this VST. But uh, here you can assign uh, the samples you have here, which the ID is A, B, C, D. Mines are A, B, C, so what I want to have is, is those three in the channel. So you can see it's, it's, it's not very clear when you have a sample over it, but those are the channels that you find in the, in the sample. So let's say channel one, I want to have this, this one, channel two, this one, and channel three, this one. So now they're properly loaded. Uh, what's uh, what I want to do next is to create the tracks in Ableton. And uh, here, each track I will assign the MIDI to. So the track will go into the the chipset uh, VST I just created. Uh, did I create it only two? No, no. Okay, I got it. So those three, and then inside uh, I can choose e the channels. So one, two, and three. So there you go. So now all the channels should have their respective uh, samples loaded in. That's the bass. That's the synth. And that's that's the uh, the pad, and that's the synth. Sorry. So there you go. It's uh, now you can compose whatever you want, and uh, well, I, I know there's a lot more to it, uh, but so far that's uh, that's what I managed to find out by myself. And uh, here I can show you a little um, a little sneak peek into what I managed to do so far. It's not bad. So here I I loaded. Um, the synth in one VST, the bass in another VST, and the chords, the, the, the pads in another VST. Why I did that is because I want to put uh, effects. Uh, so let's say I want to have the, the synth to have uh, some, echo, some, some echoes into it. So uh, that's a way I found out uh, uh, how to do that. 
Uh, I know in in the VST itself, there's a lot of uh, things you can do with echo and and and, and uh, ADSR, but uh, <laughs> I'm not there yet. So uh, there you go. I, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the best of luck in your production. Cheers.